this great big wave came in and just smashed wet up to around about the belly button. Unfortunately, in my pocket are my car keys, iPhone. This video was sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, a domain, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace and use the discount code ANDREMAR. I might be weird, but I love the constantly changing weather you get along the south coast. The clouds roll in and it's raining. And then moments later, sunshine. So when there was a break in the weather, we took our chances and headed off. So Mark and I have travelled now over to the other side of the peninsula to another bay. We're back at uh, West Cliff Point. And he's gone to one end of the bay, it's quite a large bay, and I've gone to the other end. So I'm basically facing west, which is the direction in which the sun is setting. And I'm having just a lot of fun exploring these little areas, but um, I've got less than an hour before the sun is going to set, and there's a bank of clouds there that the sun is obviously going to go behind. So we're going to get an early sunset. But just very, very quickly as I was making my way around, I found these three rocks or two rocks and a sea stack really that are just lining up quite nicely and I've got this beautiful side light from the uh, the low sun and it was just a, an image that just appeared in front of me so it's quite a simple setup um, I've I'm on ISO 100 uh, f20 and I'm playing around with the shutter speed because just working out whether I want the water coming up to this rock in the foreground and uh, and creating some patterns around it or whether I want a, a cleaner type of image just with the with the rock uh, just in the sand in the foreground so I'm playing around there but effectively I've got a rock on the bottom right hand corner and then I've got a zigzag across to a rock on the left hand side and then I've got the C stack which is pretty much in the middle what makes this shot, of course, is that side light. Um, I've got the polarizer on, and I've also got a, a soft grad on the top there. That's just taking out a little bit of the light, not a lot, but just a little bit of the light. Uh, it's just a 0.6, uh, just to make sure that I can bring up the shadows in the foreground, and I can get plenty of detail in those rocks. So it's as simple as that. Uh, once I've set all of that up, I just wait for the right wave to come up, which is pretty much now, and hit the shutter button. And let's take a look. I decided to take the shot as the wave was pushing the water up around the rock. I like the interaction between these elements in the foreground. For the edit, I simply warmed up the image and tried to bring out the detail and the shadows while being careful to protect those highlights. New locations like this are heaps of fun to explore but not being familiar with the conditions in the area could get me into trouble. There's been a lot going on since I last spoke to you. I'll try and talk you through it. But um, I went round, I kept on going around the beach to these, um, these other cluster of rocks which are on the sand. And it gives you a, a different angle to that same sea stack that I was shooting at before. But this time, pointing more into the direction of the sun instead of having the sun with that side light. Uh, so I went around and I've got the cliff wall right at my back and foolishly uh, didn't realise or didn't take um, a long enough time to actually observe the water and the waves, the cycle and the patterns of the waves and it turns out that this great big wave came in and just smashed me up against the, uh, the cliff wall. Uh, so I was pretty much wet up to around about the belly button. The GFX survived, it got a little bit of a splash on it, but um, it survived. Unfortunately in my pocket are my car keys, iPhone, and the um, microphone transmitter, uh, which I think has died. I'm not too sure about the other things. I think the iPhone is okay. I'll have to test the car keys when I get home to see, or get back to the car, sorry, to see whether the fob still works. The camera is fine, but the microphone died. So I've got a backup 
uh, luckily I've got the um, the Wireless Go 2 and it has two transmitters, so I'm onto the second transmitter. So this was the shot I took just seconds before the wave hit me. Despite the damage, I couldn't be happier with this shot. It's actually one of my favourites for the year so far. With textures of the rocks in the foreground, dynamic water movement in the midground, and this gorgeous backlit scene in the background. A big shout out to Rode for replacing the microphone. I'm not sponsored by Rode, but their after sales service is amazing. I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I started using Squarespace about eight years ago before I had a YouTube channel. I wanted a beautiful website where I could start sharing my images. I chose Squarespace because it was quick to set up using one of their gorgeous templates. And I've continued using Squarespace because I've been able to extend the website as my photography has grown with features like integration with my social media accounts, building an email list and adding an online store where I now sell my prints, Nissi filters and other camera gear. The website is so easy to maintain as well with its drag and drop approach to content and the ability to monitor and make changes either on the desktop or through their mobile app. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial this will give you heaps of time to set up your own website. And then when you're ready to launch, make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Ma to get 10% off your first purchase. Back onto the photography. Um, it has been a bit of a challenge because I've wanted to be further back from the water than, uh, than I really was able to get, particularly around there. So I should never have gone around there for obvious reasons, for multiple reasons. So I've been playing around with the composition. There's probably about half a dozen rocks, maybe even up to eight or 10 rocks in front of me. And I've got, again, these sandstone. And again, they're like the sandstone behind me. They've got these lines that, that run through it, beautiful patterns. And the, the stones in front of me are obviously from this cliff that have fallen down. And they're at different angles. These lines are creating the lines in the stone are creating lines at different angles. And so I'm just playing around the, with the edges of the stones and also the lines of the stones uh, within the stones themselves to just try and create a nice composition that is nice and simple and amongst all of this potential chaos. So I was back a little bit further and I had some of the, this cave uh, on the left hand side and I don't think it was really working, so I've come forward a little bit and just knocked that out of the picture. It's just um, a little bit further off to the left-hand side, and it's even simpler now. So I've got one rock, which I'm almost standing on, but it's coming into the image on the, uh, at the bottom left-hand side. I'm just having to really watch myself as I get a wave. My gear is okay. We're, we're good to go, we'll keep on going. I'm just watching these waves though, they're getting bigger and bigger. I do apologise if this is slightly frustrating to watch. So I've got this one rock that's coming out from the left hand side, kind of underneath the camera. And then I've got a little cluster on the left hand side. I've got a, this rock or single rock on the right hand side. And in between that, I get a little burst of water, which I'm waiting for a wave that's not too small and not too big, kind of like in that Goldilocks range where it's just enough to go over the rock and then uh, create a, a bit of a pattern just in front of the camera. And then I've got one rock that's in the middle of the sea and I've positioned myself so it's almost pointing, it looks like a finger that's pointing up at the main uh, sea stack, which is pretty much Oh, slightly to the right. I was going to say it was in the middle of the frame, but it's slightly to the right at the top of the frame. And then, of course, I've got the cliffs on the opposite side of the bay, way off into the distance, and I've just got them little, a little feature of that in the right-hand side. So even though I've got this rock on the bottom left, I've got the, the cliffs of the bay on the top right, there's a nice little balance there, which, uh, which is actually working for me. Anyway, I'm going to have a bit more of a play around, but I'll show you the images now. Right, so that is it for this trip. Um, 
we're going to camp just up on the beach there um, in amongst the dunes where it's nice and protected from, from the weather and the wind. Hopefully we don't get too much rain. It is forecast uh, to rain tonight, uh, but that's okay. We're all set up for that. Hope you get a chance to get out and take your own images real, real soon as I just protect this camera. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.